Hey everybody, Jim Cheshire live here. I am at the Palmer Rugby Alumni Symposium back at the Fountainhead. This is where it all started. So if you guys say you're into chiropractic, the only reason you're into chiropractic is because of this place. Palmer started it all. How do you feel coming to Palmer? Uh, well, so my chiropractor back home is the one who came to Palmer and he, he, he kind of changed my whole perspective on the healthcare industry and things like that. So being able to know that I came to the Fountainhead is pretty cool. You know, a lot of chiropractors that come through here will still regard as one of the best schools. So we're probably the best school, but yeah. So it's great to know that. So I jumped the gun a little bit. I'm Jim Chester. This is Mayor Serrero. Um, he is uh, here going to the Fountainhead, going to be graduating. When do you finish? Uh, actually, in October, I graduate. So what are, what are some big plans for you? Uh, so this June or July, I'm going to be going to California to precept uh, with Dr. David Barton. Really excited about that. And then I'm planning on associating there for a couple of years, uh, learning the ropes, and then eventually opening my own place. See, I think it's really cool when we get a chance to interview the chiropractor, the DC to be, because I know that you're stepping into some big shoes. Um, are you the first chiropractor in your family? Yeah, yeah. I'm the, one of the first uh, to even graduate college in my family, so it's... Uh, so what, is it, what does it feel like for your family to have you, know, you going to become a doctor? Well, I'm, I know they miss me a lot, and I, uh, you know, I'm really busy, so I never get to contact them much. But uh, I think they're proud of me, and they're happy that I'm pursuing my dreams, yeah. So I, I think it's really cool that on Cairo Hustle we feature so many DC to Bs and talk about the chiropractic future and the student. And I'm going to ask him a question that I don't know if he's ready for this, but I'm going to say, what does the profession look like in five years with you in it? Uh, well, I think in five years, I hope to just be a pillar of my community, uh, adjusting subluxations, being a principled chiropractor and doing what I can, spreading the good, good, uh, spreading the good word and fighting the good fight. See, that's what it's all about. It's about subluxation based care. So we have to keep that in the tenant of our vernacular and we have to keep innate intelligence flowing because once you take the languaging out and you discount the languaging of what this profession is built on, then you take chiropractic out of chiropractic. I agree 100%. I've actually been on kind of a podcast binge lately and uh, McCoy uh, lectures, he kind of has he talks about it a lot, how a lot of the research articles are saying spinal manipulation and they're saying segmental dysfunction. They're not the same thing. And they're never going to be the same thing. So we need to start using the language more and getting it more readily available and accepted by the profession. Now we're going to turn corner just a little bit. Um, talk to us about this symposium and the, and the level of speakers that are here. So the symposium is great. And uh, the, the great thing is as a student, you're able to see some of the most successful chiropractors out there in the nation and the world. And... Uh, you know, the avail to be able to see this as a student is for free, no less, is like unreal just to just to be able to hear people like Fred Schofield, Dee Harrison, Matt Hartenberg just spoke on heart rate variability. You're able to learn so much that you would never learn in a school and you'd have to go and pay $1,000 in a seminar. So be being able to be here is just an honor and uh, learning from people. And even just talking to chiropractors in between sessions, you know, you're able to pick their brain. I was actually able to just pick the brain of Dr. Sokoloff, who's uh, talking about concussions. I actually have a patient with concussions that I'm having trouble uh, getting results with. So, he, you know, he gave me a few pointers there and a few tips. And, you know, th these are things people pay like thousands of dollars to, to get their pointers from. And these tips, and you know, I'm, I just I was able to catch him in the in the hallway, and uh, ask him that. So yeah. Well, see, that's just uh, Alan Salkaloff. If you guys don't know, he is the chiropractor for one of the 32 NFL teams, which is the Baltimore Ravens. I think that that's something to be said about having somebody that's in the trenches, if we will, going out there taking care of an NFL team, if you will, and to be able to get results for the highest level performers, performance athletes out there, the NFL football player. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, all, all 32 NFL teams have chiropractors and, we, you know, everyone knows that by now, at least if you're into chiropractic. But, uh, you know, we're learning from people that are doing it and doing it very successfully. Like Schofield, you know, you said he sees thousand plus a week. Dr. Hartenberg is putting out research on heart rate variability. Dr. Sokoloff is, is a Baltimore Ravens chiropractor. Dr. Harris, Deed Harrison is here, puts out research like a madman. And he's, he's, you know, one of the, his father founded CBP. You know, we have some amazing people talking here and it's, it's great to learn from them. Well, Mayor, thank you for spending some time and being a voice for the chiropractic student here at the Rugby Alumni Symposium 2018 at the Fountainhead, Davenport, Iowa. Really appreciate you, man. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. See you guys later. Take care. I'd just like to close out and say you're just one story away. Keep hustling.